And tonight, parents in Pflugerville are offering their own ideas to help close that district's $20 million budget gap. Jared Wise joins us live outside Kelly Lane Middle School on the north side of Pflugerville, where parents are trying to help the district come up with ways to cut the budget without cutting teachers. Jared, good evening. Good evening there, Shannon. Yes, that meeting is wrapping up right now. Now, it was on Monday when Pflugerville ISD cut about 25% of their central office staff. Tonight, they're talking about possibly laying off up to 80 teachers, and that's prompted many parents coming out tonight offering up alternatives. I'm very concerned about some of the budget proposals. Tony Barnes has two kids attending elementary school for Pflugerville. He came out because he doesn't want one of his child's teachers to lose their job. The, the kids build up relationships with those people. There are lots of teachers that I've talked to that said, well, if, if we had to do it as a temporary basis, we could do $100 a month, right? If that's going to save some teachers' jobs, then we can do that. Pay cuts are just one idea some teachers and parents are offering up to help save jobs. But in the long run, that might not be enough. Staff is really going to be affected because it makes up 83% of our overall budget. The deputy superintendent for Pflugerville Schools gave a brief presentation on the budget troubles and how the state is planning to cut funding. Feedback was also gathered from many parents that showed up. And despite having to make some tough decisions, he says some cuts will remain off the table. We're not going to be targeting any school closures in Pflugerville ISD. We're still growing. Uh, we added over 500 new students this year. We'll add another 500 students next year. And we spoke to some parents here tonight who said they didn't mind if their property taxes were raised, if it would save some teachers. Property taxes account for about half of Pflugerville's entire operating budget. The Pflugerville, uh, the Pflugerville School Board will make final decision and final cuts at their board meeting on April 7th. There are still two more community input meetings that will be held next week. Reporting live in Pflugerville, Jared Wise, KXAN, Austin News.